Hey guys, our next topic to read is around the exception in the init block and what happens to the job state. Okay, so I am referring the RE framework documentation and you have to study this documentation at least in a fair way okay and understand the important points so here is one of the important point that you should know and this exactly also there in the config file i told you in the beginning of the rfm mock that you have to read the config file all the definitions properly so let's let me focus on this topic what is it by default okay pay attention by default all exceptions are handled by RE framework file, resulting the job being marked as successful even when, look at this, even when an exception occurs in the init state. For example, if your config file settings remains default and everything, you know, uh, default in the sense, all these values, right, in the constant sheet or settings sheet, all your values and all this remains, con you know, default uh, as it is. So by default, I actually changed it by default it will be false if you open it you will see it will be false so everything is remained default in that case what would happen even if there is a exception occurring at the init block okay in the init block what would happen generally if the exception occurs in the init block what would happen it generally it has to flow like this right system exception and end process state it will end the process state but the state of the job, it's not asking about the end process state. It is talking about the job state in the orchestrator when you run a job, right? There, you will find still successful. Even there is a failure, end process state it went, but the job state will say successful. Okay. However, remember this very important point. Any questions can be framed in this kind of a topic. So, very important. However, if the value of should mark job faulted, if the value of the should mark job faulted constant is changed to true that means if you go to the config file and the should mark job faulted okay you might have not seen it and paid attention to this this is a very important point should mark job as faulted you should make it true should mark job as faulted look at the word job as faulted mark the job as faulted so what is the definition here must be true or false by default it is false if it is set to true if the value is set to true and the error occurs in the initialization block okay this is one uh, then it will be marked as faulted or else the other condition beside that is the max consecutive system exception is reached let's say you have set as two after two consecutive exception it will, it will go to end process state even in that case the uh, the job state will become faulted only if you enabled it to true remember only if you have enabled it to true so read the sentence carefully however if the value of should mark has faulted the constant is changed to true and an error occurs in the initialization state the max consecutive exception is reached or okay there is a or condition or the max there are two conditions is reached the job is marked as faulted otherwise it will be marked as successful if the config file settings are remain default without any changes then the job state even it went to the end process state after an error in the init block right they have mentioned it clearly even when the exception occurs in the init state in that case also you will still find successful so you can frame multiple questions around the sentence right the, the you know um, the job state um, uh, in the RE framework uh, it went to end process state because there was an exception in the init block. However, in the jobs in the orchestrator, the job state is still successful. What is the reason? The reason is should mark job faulted is kept true in the config file. Uh, sorry, kept false in the config file. Okay, if it is set to true, then that's where it will it is going to mark it as faulted. So as per the documentation, you should read and go. Okay, very important point. I hope uh, this would add a lot of value uh, to your preparation. Thank you guys. Let's move on to our next topic.